Today was the first ever Pennsylvania March for Life, and it's so important to gather in these state capitals to speak with one voice for life. All of our knights decided to be part of this because the rights for the unborn need to be called out and in a public display. The knights today are here to get our hands dirty, to do the work that needs to be done to make sure events like these can happen. We were doing everything today. There were over 70 buses. Many of them were chartered by Knights of Columbus. We had marshals at the march and at the rally. We had hundreds of knights attend mass. We had the Silver Rose of Our Lady of Guadalupe make an appearance here at the church. It was a beautiful day and such an outpouring. I was not surprised because we have so many loyal pro-life people in our state. The Knights of Columbus helps men come together. I was one of the marshals on this side street and got to see the vast array of people from the little ones all the way to the elderly. It just shows how, how it bridges all generations. What we did today is so in line with that which Blessed McGivney inspired us to do. Being a knight has been one of the best decisions I ever made. A march like this is very inspiring to attract new members. Today we've had five new members that have joined since this march began. And several people approached me on the street and asked me how they could join. By coming out and speaking out, we really are bringing to fruition what Father McGivney wanted the Catholic men and families to do in this country. It's stepping up and it's being active in the daily life of my faith and not just being a bystander. This is our mission, a little bit of work and a little bit of prayer every day. And if we can do it together with our brother Knights, then we can accomplish so much.